But let me tell you, a tiny city church, no man can take you to where God is. Only the Spirit of God in you can reveal Jesus in you. He says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody goes to the Father but through me. So if Jesus can be revealed to you, you can find your way to the Father. Praise the name of God. You know, when I go to the shop to buy the bread, the bread comes when it is packaged. The bread comes when it is covered. When I take the bread to my house, I don't eat the bread together with the package. I have to tear out the package so that I can eat the bread. When you have the revelation, the relationship, sorry, with the Bible, the Bible, give you the relationship with the Holy Spirit. When you have the relationship with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will give you the relationship with Jesus. When you have the relationship with Jesus, the relationship with Jesus will give you the relationship with the Father. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man goes to the Father but through me. I feel like I'm preaching in this place. I feel it is coming praise the name of god and now you are torn in between jesus you are introduced to with that religion i don't care how the deacon was strict i don't care how the mama assembly was strict i don't care how the priest was strict but ladies and gentlemen this is the truth as many as received him he gave them power to become the sons of god because when you receive him the spirit will come and on you <laughs> praise the name of god my spirit will come over you and you will be the witnesses you'll be my witnesses in samaria you will be my witnesses in jerusalem you will be my witnesses in all the parts of the world it is the spirit of god in you that helps you to become a witness now listen to me it doesn't matter how eternity city church can be powerful it can be powerful in music it can be powerful in media because if you don't know our media team is very strong it can be powerful in programming it can be powerful in sunday school but really when it comes to knowing jesus you have to know jesus as a person you have to know jesus as a person you don't a spirit you need the spirit of god for when this spirit will come over you you shall be entitled to become the son of god so now we are fighting between the jesus we were introduced to in church of god and the real jesus and you are wondering why are things going like this praise the name of god i'm about to preach so now the bible says here comes the wife of the wife of Zebedee. They were rich people because they had servants. They had servants. The Bible talks of the CEO. Uh, praise the name of God. He was a CEO. He was a CEO. He was a CEO. You know, church, I'm tired of being close to people who have already had their check. I want to be really alone and find out uh, can God really change my life? Praise the name of God. I'm tired of people are really doing well. I want to be alone and find Jesus in my not doing well. I'm tired of people have made life i want to be alone and find out can i make it in life i want to be alone and find out i want to be alone and find out listen to me ladies and gentlemen where you are standing you need your own revelation of who jesus really is because some of you religion introduced you to a Jesus who can only heal to a Jesus who can only perform the miracle you are only introduced to a Jesus of breakthrough you are only introduced to a Jesus who can kill the witches but that is not the real Jesus when Moses asked God when I get there what, what am I going to tell them what whom will I say that sent me and God said to Moses says when you get there you got to respond i am who i am have sent you because god has no name 
His name is only God the Yahweh. He is not only God who can heal. He can heal. He can deliver. He can restore. He can lift. He can change your story. So God cannot be limited in a name.